Jam Like a Strawberry Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hello everyone, in today's video this will be the last of my fruit pun series. This one is a strawberry and so it says jam like a strawberry and it's got a pink background and I know the rest of mine they all were a sliced open fruit but this one I just decided to do two whole strawberries and one is glittery and one is not that kind of go along with the rest of them I hope you like this one just as much as the others and if you did miss any of the other ones there's um, an orange watermelon kiwi and peach there will be links to those in the description box below so if you missed them like I said check them out in there there will be links so don't forget to do that and click subscribe see all my future videos as well so to start with, I'm going to begin with a gradient of a light pink and shimmery white. So start out with the pink at the tip of the nail, kind of brush that up, and then take a bead of that shimmery white acrylic, set that near the cuticle, pat that down, and then brush it down towards the tip so that they kind of gradiate right in the center and overlap. And then if you need to add a little bit more pink or white or whatever to perfect your gradient. That's the other thing with gradients. I know I'm adding tips to all of these videos for gradients, but if you're not happy with your gradient, add another layer because it might just make the difference. So if you don't like it, maybe add a little bit more pink and maybe that'll make the difference and just kind of work with it and see if you can play around with it and get it to look good. After it's encased with acrylic, file it into shape or with clear acrylic, file it into shape, make sure it looks nice and smooth and then take a much finer bit to get rid of any of the little texture that that first file may have left behind and make it really easy to paint on. So now to sculpt your two strawberries, I'm going to begin with some green acrylic and I'm going to make the leaves of my strawberry. Make sure that your green acrylic that you grab, you don't have too much at once. As you can see with that first one, I set down that bead and I was started to work with it. I was like, no, that's way too much acrylic and just wiped it off. So just make your little leaves of your first strawberry and then with red acrylic, sculpt down the rest of the fruit. I just ate some strawberries yesterday. Side note, not really relevant at all. And then with, add your second strawberry, same thing, start out with the leaves. And also, if you want, you can add some leaves that go over the front of the strawberry, but start out with those back ones just to kind of give you a base. And then add the red layer for the actual fruit. And even though I know I said that one was glittery, just start out with the same red just to kind of get that first layer down. And then dip a bead of clear acrylic into the red glitter to add the glittery element to the second strawberry, the one that's on top. Making sure that it is nice and sparkly. And then add that extra leaf going down the front just like that so then with black paint we're going to be writing jam like a strawberry above the 3d fruit and with this one this is the only one where i kind of split up the word because strawberry is a very large word to write in one line across the nail it's almost to the point where it's too big which is why i decided especially since i wanted all of the fruit words to be bolded and really big on the nail, I decided to split up the word strawberry. So it's uh, it's straw in the first line and then berry in the second one. If you don't want to do that, if you're like, no, strawberry is one word, you can't break it up, go ahead and put it all together. That's fine. I just thought it'd be easier to read and just a little easier to see if it was split up. So that's why I did it this way. So like I said in the first line, just write straw. And so to start that, put the R right in the center of the nail because that is the center of the word straw. So you have S-T-R-A-W, but you paint raw and then add the S or the T-S before it. And then underneath that, write berry. And once again, there's an R in the center of the word berry. So you have R-R-Y, just like that. You kind of can, it's pretty easy to write if you know what the letter is that's in the center because then you know how much space you have to work with and just makes everything kind of just pan out a little bit easier if you work with it that way. And then with white paint, paint a very thin skinny little line inside all of your letters that you have already there. So, or at least of strawberry, don't worry about jam like a, just let that one be, that one's done. But inside straw, just those skinny little letters or try to leave some of the black outline there. You don't want to completely cover it up. You want to keep it. So just to make sure that everything kind of pops and is really visible. So you just want to leave a thin black outline. And if you do cover up some of your black outline more than you'd like to, it's fine. You can either fix it or just say that it's good and let it be. And then with white paint, add a couple little dots across your strawberries for their seeds. And then add a little highlight on top of the leaves with diluted white paint or a brighter shade of green, whichever way you want to go with that. And then with black paint, go ahead and add a little outline around your strawberries just to really make them pop. They don't show up super well. I mean, they do show up, but they show up better if you outline them, especially where they're overlapping. They kind of blend together. Just make sure that they really show up nice and vibrantly. 
and then cover up the white of the letters, the white inside the letters of strawberry with really bright red. So you want everything to be really bright and summery. So make sure that you don't use like a dark burgundy red, but something that's vibrant, almost kind of like a, almost on the coral side if you, if you have that, but just something really nice and vibrant. So the reason the white was underneath that is because otherwise these bright colors that are going on top of the black aren't going to show up as well. So if you have that little white layer underneath, it's really going to make them pop. And then apply matte top coat over the 3D fruit, gel sealer over the background, and then over the glittery portion of your 3D strawberries. And that is it. I loved making all of these. They all are just kind of fun and, you know, simple and just something to make you smile. And I know that a lot of my designs, a lot of people say they're so hard. How can anybody ever do these? Well, I wanted to make something that was a little bit easier. So I hope you guys like this series and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.